everyone. Welcome to the Inspired Choices Network TV show. I am your host, Christine McIver, and today we have another inspiring guest who's going to be sharing with us what she's doing in the world to inspire herself and those around her. So today I have with me Lucy Aruda. Aruda? Aruda? Aruda. Mm -hmm. Why do I have fun with that name? It's just a fun name. It's a fun name, <laughs> it's just fun like name. you. So <laughs> Lucy is a designer, and Lucy, you're doing, you set the stage for transformation throughout your businesses and throughout your life. Is that a correct? Absolutely. Fabulous. I'm having great fun with it. So Awesome. So tell us about what you do as far as setting the stage for transformation. Well, I start off with, um, I'm actually an, a designer stager. So I have my first company is the Stage and Design House. And then from the Stage and Design House, uh, my other company was born, Just Baskets Online. Okay, wow. Okay, so tell me, um, how long have you been in this business? How long have you been doing your business for? For 12 years. For 12 years. But I was doing it for the last, uh, last n I guess, nine, 10 years. It was what I called part time, or I guess last nine years it was called part time. Right. It wasn't part time. I thought it was part time. I was still in the corporate world, but decided at the tender age of, uh, you know, in my 50s to do the t transformation and uh, brought the whole thing uh, forward, moved it into the Mississauga area, and it's been. It's been the best decision ever. So what did you do prior to starting your business? Like you were born and raised in Ontario? I was, yes, I was born and raised actually in Toronto. Okay. Uh, and as I, we got, we got married and then I just kept moving out west. And uh, actually was a corporate, worked work in the corporate world, um, was not my passion. This was my passion. Uh, as the kids grew older, I decided I needed a little niche myself. So I decided I'm gonna do this part time. And the part time turned into what it is today. Uh, I've got two amazing companies on the go. That's fabulous. So, that's yeah. it. So, what got you intrigued? So, so you set stages. You set homes. Um, you're a stager. You set the stages for real estate agencies, right? And Correct. For, for private. Do you also do for private? Oh, absolutely. Individuals. Yep. Okay. So, what got you into this area? Like, what was it about this that really pulled you in? Well, it was always a passion of mine, ever since I was a little girl. So I really was born with design DNA in my, in my bloodstream. It, it was there from the start. Um, just as a quick little story, as a child, my mom, I, one being the oldest of, sibling, of, of my four siblings, my mom uh, we used to go off to work in the part-time and I used to watch the kids and her fear, she did not want to leave the house because her fear was, I was going to move things around. So at, the ten, so at nine, <laughs> ten years old, I'd be doing this. I'd be having couches on one side. I'd be throwing little sheets on the bed just to make sure. So it was always there. It just did it for friends throughout my whole years of you know marriage life. So it really was there. It just it didn't really hit me until you know. So as a young child, you would redesign your family home. Redesign my family home. Catch, gra catch grasshoppers and create little shoe boxes and make them condos and, <laughs> and build the whole thing. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. Yeah. I, I just love that that was part of you. Right. And, it, and you brought what really you loved from, from you know, the first, first memories Absolutely. to a business. So tell me, what is it about staging that inspires you? It's just a passion. It's just something I love. Um, back to the transformation. I, it's just something that I come alive. Um, when I work with my team, they have no idea how I just keep, keep going. It's like the little energizer bunny, you know? It's like, but it, I love taking something from just where it is and just giving it that, that, that hype, that, that elegance to it. And, and that's the part of it that I come, that when I start to put that together, that's where I come alive. And I could do this 24 seven around the clock and I don't get tired. That's amazing. Well, you definitely know it's something that's part of you when you're not getting tired. So when you walk into a room and you look at everything around you, now this might sound weird, but do the, do the pieces start speaking to you or does the room start speaking to you? Not, not words, but you, you start getting information from the pieces around you? Yes. Everything. I mean, and and you, I mean, you do this for a living. You can't help but everywhere you walk into, whether it's a commercial, whether it's a home, whether it's a mall, it's just always there. Oh, that piece would look nice there, or that looks really sharp. So it's 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 it's. it's so it's, the pieces, different pieces, catch your attention. Absolutely. And when you are doing this work, and I'd love to come and watch you sometime to do it. Oh, absolutely. I think that would be so much fun. But when you're doing this, 
do you start to perceive, or do people that are watching you do this, do they start to perceive the change in the energy in the room? Yes. And a lot of it is uh, when I start to just even, uh, even with a, with a consult, just doing a consultation, it's just a walkthrough, we're just, you know, we can just be just chatting where I feel the sofa, for example. And the clients start right away, well, wow, I never thought of that. Wow, where is that? So it start, they start to, to see it as well. They all of a sudden become designers themselves sometimes. But. Right. So when, you're, when you, you meet with someone or they're interested, you go out and you do a consult with them before you Absolutely. ever go in there. Absolutely. Get and a feel. How much time is involved? Let's say you have um, a 3,000 square foot home. Uh, and you're to, to set the stage for that. How much is involved in that whole process? There's a lot of involvement, and people don't see the behind the scenes. Right. So, so enlighten us. Enlighten, <laughs> yeah, so a lot of it is, so you have to do the consultation. So you can be about up to two hours doing the consultation, taking your notes, asking them where to purge, where to remove their personal items, what we're gonna bring in, what we're gonna set up. So that part of it is done, okay, that's great. Now it's the behind the scenes, it's the packing it, it's finding every little piece to that home, walking around our studio and finding which piece belongs where, which headboard goes where, which, you know, every little detail and taking every little detail, getting that ready, getting that all, each item wrapped up, getting the trucks ready, getting, so there's a lot wow. of work that goes in. And then in. that's just the prep. That's the prep. And then you're going to the house and mm -hmm. you've got to, well, you said earlier, move their personal items. Well, we're hoping that by this time, that when we did the walkthrough, the personal items are gone, sometimes, most of the time. Uh, and then that's it, we're, our movers come in, our movers put everything where, where it goes, and then it starts from there. And that's where I said the magic starts. That magic starts. And how long are you typically in the home performing your magic? <laughs> it could be, it, it really doesn't, it doesn't, could be two hours to four hours to six hours. We've had an all-nighter in a 6,000 square foot home, so. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So how much do you, um, do you have a lot of items that you're pulling from? Like you must have more than, you must have several homes that you've staged simultaneously. That's a lot of stock. That's a lot of stock. Yeah. Wow, Lucy. That's amazing. And so when you started out, did you just have a few th few pieces or were you, did you have to rent things as well? When I started this job off, I was so impressed and so proud of myself 12 years ago, going to a client's house with a, a Tupperware container of just little accents that I had bought in, from HomeSense. And that was my... That was your that, beginning. That, that was my beginning. Oh, that's and so awesome. And from there, it, uh, it all started with, okay, I got a couple more items, moved to the basement. From the basement, moved to my garage. Worked out of my garage for three years. My garage was actually, like, looked like a home sense. Had all the, my son-in-laws built all my shelving. And then that still wasn't big enough for me. You just, you kept growing and growing and growing. So now you have a warehouse here in Mississauga. Yep. Right? And in, in Ontario. And what large area do you service? Like, is it just the uh, GTA or do you go farther? We go further. We really go where the business goes. I wow. mean, we go to Bol you know, we go to Bolton, uh, you, you name it. We've gone to uh, Niagara, we've gone to Toronto, we go south, west, <laughs> in, you <laughs> name all it. All directions. <laughs> That's fabulous. So tell me, um, what is it like? Like, do you have clients that are not just for real estate purposes, but do you have clients that actually contact you and say, will you come in and help me set my, the stage of my home? just for my own enjoyment? Absolutely, we hear it all the time. I'm actually going to one this afternoon who, I don't want to move, but would you just come over and just give me a little guidance and where I should start? And so we get that all the time. So we get that's more of an interior design, which we do as well. We do renovations, so we do, yeah. So you have a renovation team that would we come in? We have a renovation team as well. We have a, we have a whole crew of plumbers, uh, painters, you name it. So we really, What's really nice when we come out to the client's house is that we really do have a resource of contractors for them. So whatever it is that they are, you know, what they need, I mean, they're going wow. through the moving process, so we try to make it so easy from start to finish, and we really try to be there for them from start to finish. That is amazing. That is yeah. absolutely amazing. I mean, I've done renovations where I had to do the interviews, and then you're really just basically hoping that they're gonna be a reliable. So when someone comes to you, you're actually going to be the source for them. They don't have to worry about all of the, you know, the, the risk, basically. Your company and you take the risk out of it for them. 
Absolutely. That's and, we, and we bring a team that we've been working with for so many years. So. Oh yeah. my gosh, that is fantastic. So how many, um, how many clients do you work with simultaneously? Like, do you have like five to 10 or is it seasons always different? It's seasons always different. Days are always different. Um, I leave the home in the morning and I never know what my schedule is gonna be when I come home. Like I could be home for dinner. I cannot be home for dinner. It just really depends. Wow. Um, so last week was a crazy week. I, I had like six staging, so I had to do it like AM, PM, AM, PM. I was a basket case, but we did it. We, we got it and so That's it really just depends, yeah. That's fabulous. What a gift that you give really give to people and and like you say people don't realize until they actually work with you all the behind the scenes and all of the the different services that you do offer absolutely so it's not just a staging for real estate it, no. it's really a support for anyone who has a home absolutely That's anybody fantastic. anybody that has a home anybody that has Anybody that has furniture, anybody that has that, that lives in, in four walls, it's it's possible. So. so you could do offices as well as homes. Offices, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we get back, we're going to continue to speak with Lucy about the other design that she has actually birthed most recently out of this business. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Have you thought about bringing your voice to the world? Are you looking to have a global platform that you can connect with? At Inspire Choices Network, we create an opportunity for you to bring your voice each and every week to a global platform. We support you, we train you, we bring your podcast out to more than 50 platforms. We are a network of building a community where we're bringing conscious voices to the world. If you're looking to have more of an opportunity, if you're looking to bring what you know to the world, do connect with us. You can contact us at inspirechoicesnetwork.com or you can send an email to becoming a host at inspirechoicesnetwork.com. We'll have a conversation and we'll show you what truly is possible. Welcome back, everyone. Today we are speaking with a wonderful guest. Lucy Aruda. Lucy is talking about setting the stage for transformation. So before we went to break, we were talking about your staging company and mm -hmm. all of the wonderful things that you're delivering. Then short, uh, was it two years ago that the yep. new business started to kind of come alive? Yes. So tell us about that business and how you actually brought it to, to being in, in, in operation as to it having were. A, yeah, to have a breathing of its own. Well, it actually started with, um, I was actually always approached by agents about a gift, a gift for a client. and Like real estate agents. Real estate agencies. And the, the, I guess the agents that I was working with. And it kind of started from there with maybe putting a little something together for them, a little bit something more than just bringing them the client a bottle of wine. I mean, they've worked so hard with this client. In some cases, these agents are working with clients on selling the home, buying the home. So they've got like the double sale. So I always wanted to do something creative where not just a bottle of wine, I mean, so you can do that, we can just make it into a more creative way. So I started thinking, hmm, what can I do creatively? Because when you're creative, the, the juices just keep coming, they don't stop, this doesn't turn off. So I thought, what if I created a company, uh, Just Baskets Online, and really that's what, it, and it kind of just started like that, I thought, well, I could start branching it off to agents, I can start branching it off to home, branch it off to anybody, I mean, who doesn't love a, to receive a gift basket? So it started off from there and I started putting these great little crates together and based on, you know, I'd find out from the agent, what is this family like? Do they have kids? Do they not have kids? So you were customizing mm -hmm. these, ba well, you said baskets, but they're actually crates. They're crates. So are they, they're wooden crates? They're the wooden crates, which just the wooden crate alone, everybody loves. Yes. So we so we fill that in with really with lots of goodies. We've had agents who come to us for their clients are having a baby, their clients are getting married. So there's a lot of custom work goes into that. And moving baskets, who doesn't love a moving basket? So that's oh, something that's that we- that's a fabulous we, idea. That's one of our greatest greatest sellers is, is a moving basket it's a moving basket so you have um, you have standard things that you would put in these baskets or do you also customize to people's requests exactly so both so we okay. can we, we actually have standard items we would put in so all your basics and who doesn't love like your Tim Hortons card and your pizza pizza and, and so forth and but we also have again from the agent he wants to you know give them a nice really nice dinner and 
for the client, you know, for the, the couple, and something for the children. So again, it all goes by, it's either custom or there's a standard package as well. Fabulous. So you've actually created two businesses that kind of marry with each other, but also have their own individual mm -hmm. um, opportunities for you. Absolutely. That is fantastic. So you have two websites? Two have websites. Two, two websites. Can yeah. you tell us what the websites are? My uh, For the staging website, it's the staginganddesignhouse.ca. Okay. And for the baskets, it's really simple. Just basketsonline.com. Wow. That's a fabulous domain name. <laughs> Sorry, the business in me wants to be like, oh, that's really, really good. So people can connect with you. Um, so the staging, the staging, they would obviously have a consultation with you first. But the baskets, can they order directly online without having to contact you at all? Absolutely. Everything's online. It's as easy as just, one, two, three. Just a few clicks and they can yeah. order that. That's fantastic. So you are also available. Um, people can find you on social media? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So would they Got look for your team. name on social media or would they look for the company names? The company names. The company names. Yeah, okay, so. great. So what's next for you, Lucy? Like what, what you have your, your daughters working with you. Is that correct? Absolutely. You have two daughters and both yeah. of them work for you with the company. One of them works for me. One of them works One for works you. One works for me. Yeah. Who's actually expecting our first grandchild in oh, the end exciting. of July. That's exciting. So yeah. So who knows what? is coming up next. What's I, coming up yeah. next. So do you see more business opportunities out there for you, um, more creative ideas? Because you, you, you definitely are creative. I mean, it's definitely part of who you are. Do you think that there's other things coming? Yeah, just, there's this thing, in, and it's been there for many years, is about a book. So who knows, maybe one day and... What, what's coming through. What, what's, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, so. so what is it about what you do that continues to inspire you? It's the service I provide and it's it's the joy I receive back. It's those letters, it's those calls, it's the referrals, it's the, and that is my pat on the back and knowing I'm in the right place doing the right, right thing. That's the fuel that keeps you moving again and again and again. You're absolutely right. That's fantastic. I'm so happy for you. Thank I mean, you. it's so wonderful to to recognize when something's not working for you mm -hmm. and then to have that 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 whisper inside of you that's been growing for a long time to actually have it come to the world. And like you say, if you're getting accolades, if you're getting referrals, if you're getting, you know, letters from people, you know you're in the right space. Absolutely. That's amazing. Well, I can't wait to come out and watch you one day. I'm absolutely, maybe we'll have to tape it and watch you. Hey, that would be, uh, that so would be amazing. Much fun. Yeah. I'll we'll have to talk to the producers. I wonder if they'd be ready, ready to go on the road. Um, and, and really to take advantage of your baskets, because I, I know you've been doing it, and I really haven't seen them up close and personal. So that's definitely something that I'd love to do. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here today. I so appreciate it. And I love what you're doing. And the services, I mean, I learned so much more today about what you're doing that I didn't even realize. There you go. <laughs> so if you're looking to have some um, staging in your life, to have some redesign, if you'd like to have something infused with some amazing creative energy, definitely want to contact Lucy, Lucy Aruda. So you can contact her. Um, we'll have both of her websites here for you, as well as think about who you would love to send a beautiful creative basket to, something that's maybe a little customized for that special person. So please do connect with us again next week. We'll have another inspiring guest here on the Inspired Choices Network TV show. Until then, remember, you can always make another choice.